Hello, as you probably heard, Nintendo recently announced the new Super Smash Bros. game that will be coming to the Nintendo Switch at some point during 2018. With all the excitement around this, I figured that I would do a video discussing my top 8 picks for who I would like to be in this game. Today I'm going to be going over my top 8 characters I want to see in the new Super Smash Bros. game. Number 8. Squidward Tennis Balls. Squidward's hobbies include playing the clarinet and hating his life. I feel like it would be good if he was in Super Smash Bros because there's really not a lot of a clarinet playing dynamic in the game and I think it's really important. His final smash ability it could be that he plays the clarinet and then everybody around him explodes instantly. Number 7. Sans. Sans is a character that was from the popular video game Undertale which came out in late 2015. Seeing as it drew so much inspiration from Earthbound which also has characters in the Smash Bros games, it would only make sense that he also gets to be in the games as well. However, since Sans is confirmed to also be Ness by Matt Pat himself, then it, they may not be able to have both Sans and Ness in the game at the same time. Number 6 Naruto I think it would be cool if we could incorporate Naruto into the new Super Smash Bros game because he is a very popular character from the anime Attack on Titan. His final smash could be using his, um, the, you know, that thing he does with his hands, which is something that we have never seen at all from the Super Smash Bros. series whatsoever. Number 5. The Laughing Crying Emoji. The laughing crying emoji is really important because it shows that either that you are laughing really really hard or that you want to know who did this, lol. And that's why it would be really good in the new Super Smash Bros game. Number 4. Perry the Platypus. Perry the Platypus is not only a platypus, but he's also a secret agent. So please put him in the game. Number 3 Pickle Rick Number 2 Me I should be in the new Super Smash Bros game because that'd be pretty cool, I think. Number 1 David Pogue David Pogue is such a legend and so he should definitely be in Super Smash Bros because he's just such a legend. I only worry that he might be too overpowered and that would be a balancing issue for the game because he's just on a whole separate level of skill. So, what did you think of our list? Did you have any of the same, um, list? Yeah, I didn't think so.